Welcome to eRepair Stuff. Today we're going to quickly run through replacing the ear speaker and front camera um, on the iPhone 6 Plus. Um, we've been having some trouble with this one, so we're just going to quickly remove the two and repair them. So first thing we need to do is remove the two pentalobe screws from the base of the iPhone. Um, the uh, easiest way to get the screen up is either to use something pointy and lever under the screen very, very carefully, or sometimes you can get your nails in between the gap and just pry it up. Um, I have a tool that sticks to the front and the back of the screen and allows me to pop it open really easily. So you just stick the suckers on and push it together and it all pops open. Next thing we do is disconnect the battery before we do anything else. Um, that way we minimize the potential for damage on the motherboard. Because um, the last thing we want to do is wreck the board because the phone will never work again. Um, in, in the worst case anyway. So just pop the battery connector up. I use my fingernail, you can use a spudger. Um, it comes up very easily. Next thing we need to do is remove the screen. Um, because someone's opened this up before one of the screws is missing. So there'd normally be five screws holding the screw cover the screen cover in place. In this case, we just remove the four because there's one missing. Um, however, it, uh, if there is a missing screw, it's not gonna affect anything. Just be careful to keep the screws in the same order you took them out because you will need to put them back the same way um, to again, avoid damage to the board. So move the metal cover um, and disconnect the cables that run to the screen, digitizer and um, ear speaker and, and the home button. So we'll pop our iPhone to one side um, just to work on our screen now. So we just need to remove the three screws at the top holding the metal bracket in place. Once those have been removed, we can take out the ear speaker and the front camera assembly. Um, front camera assembly includes the front mic, um, the mic that's used for FaceTime um, or, or um, WhatsApp Messenger or Facebook Messenger, something like that. But it's always used for video messaging. So first thing we do, if you just pop the connector up very carefully, you'll be able to really easily get to the speaker and remove that. Um, the next thing we do is we've got to remove the mic that's attached to the screen. It's glued in with a little bit of adhesive. I find the best way to get it out is just to use a flathead screwdriver and very, very carefully wiggle underneath the cable and it will come up really, really easily. And there we go. That's the front camera assembly complete rem completely removed. Um, again, that's got the, the mic, front camera and the proximity sensor on it. Um, so if you're having ever having troubles where you hold your, your screen up, your, your phone up to your head to make a call and the screen doesn't go dark, that's the proximity sensor damaged. So again, you'll need to replace this part. Just pop the speaker back in place. Um, you pop the camera back down over it. It will it will fit in place over the top of the speaker and then the metal bracket on top of that. And again, the three screws need to go back in just to hold that in place. This is one of the easier jobs uh, to when you're repairing an iPhone. However, it is a little bit fiddly to do. Um, as long as you keep the screws in the same order as you took them out, um, you'll be absolutely fine. So once we've done this, we just need to pop it back into the iPhone body. I've sped this up just so you don't have to watch it all. So again, we're gonna reconnect the screen, just popping the connectors back down one at a time and then pop the metal bracket back in place and, and screw that down with the four screws. After we've done that, the next thing we're gonna do is pop the battery back down um, and pop the two screws back in, holding that metal cover back in place. And then that's it. We just, we pop the screen back down. Again, you need to just need to align the top of the screen with the frame um, exactly like that. And then push it down all the way around and pop the two pentalo screws back in the bottom and screw that up. And then that's it, we're all done. Hope you've enjoyed watching, thanks.